Hello, my name is Antonio Castillo and I want to share with you a little story of a road trip I took with my family last year. So my family from Mexico City came over to Reynosa and they wanted for the first time to visit the United States. My cousin was the one that drove them here. It was a long road trip. It was like a 14 hour long road trip. And they came here really tired. They didn't rest at all. They wanted to drive all the way from Mexico to Reynosa and from Reynosa to San Antonio. And I think it was kind of a uh, mistake because they were all really tired. I have never driven to San Antonio. My grandparents live not too far away from there, but it's a whole different highway. It's rather different and I didn't know how to get there. So it was 11 p.m. We hit the road and my, my cousin was the one driving. He was really sleepy and he was almost swerving out of, the, out of his lane. Yeah, I was in the passenger seat, my family was at the back and I, I, I don't think they understood what was going on. Uh, he was really sleepy. There was no traffic at all, but in the highways, there are no lights and you can't really see unless you have your high beams. And the thing is that he was almost swerving. I was a little scared and I told him, you want me to take over for you? And he agreed. The thing is that the GPS stopped working and I knew it was a straight highway, but I didn't really know where to turn or I don't know. It was, I was a little lost. So now it's me in the driver's seat. My uh, family, my whole family was sleeping because they were really tired uh, because of their 14 hour road trip they took. Uh, I didn't know how to get to San Antonio. My phone, there was no phone service at all. Not my phone, not their phones. I don't know how I was gonna get there. I was actually a little, I was really scared because I know it's not a long trip. It was a four hour road trip but not knowing where you're headed, that's, that's scary. The only thing I knew is that I had to stay driving in the 281. That's the only thing I, the only thing I knew about what I was doing. Um, it just didn't end. It was 2 a.m. and I was in the same highway. I was like, did I just pass San Antonio and I didn't even notice? It was a hell of a long trip. Long story short, I got Wi-Fi service and the phone said we needed to head to the to our Airbnb. And right when we were driving in the neighborhood, the phone service just went away again. I didn't know which house was the Airbnb. And I noticed there was a similar or but I thought it was the Airbnb. There was this uh, door lock with numbers in it. I just typed the code that was given to me and it wasn't opening. I was like, am I even at the right house? Maybe this is a different neighborhood. A family got out of the house. Well, the dad or I don't know who was that person, but he was why are you here in my property trying to open the door? I was really ashamed. I was, I'm sorry. I didn't know this wasn't, I didn't know. I thought this was my Airbnb. It was like, hell no, this is not your Airbnb. You have to get out of my property right now. I was about to just, I don't know. I was about to cry right there. Like, what am I going to do? It's almost 3 a.m. and, uh... I thought I almost ruined my family's vaca vacation. But no, I didn't ruin it, thankfully. The house was right around the corner and yeah, we just had a an amazing time there in San Antonio later on. And yeah, it, that's that's been my story. My little story of me being lost while driving in the highway, in a really big highway in the middle of the night and but everything just went out smoothly so i guess it all worked out and yeah thank you for listening to my little or long story and i hope you have a great day